Well, folks, welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. Man, today I'm really excited. I'm fishing with my good friend and Yucatan Snook Pro Guide, Bob Thomas, along with Captain Gary. If you'll turn around here, Gary. Gary, say hello, man. Hello. All right. Fish, fish. Fish, fish, Gary says. Y'all, we're fishing right here in Progreso, Mexico. We're targeting Snook and Tarpon here this morning. So we're gonna see if we can get lucky for you. Y'all stay tuned, we're going fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yo Zerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar and Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Yeah, it must be a good one because he does not want to jump yet. That was a big ass stuff. Our big jack. Ah, come out of there. Oh, Jesus, look at the size of the snook, y'all. Look at the size of that snook. Holy shit. Well, throwing for a tarpon, y'all. We just got us a massive snook. Nice little four pounder. Check this one out. On the DOA terrorize. Nice snook, y'all. Nice snook. But we're fishing for tarpon. We're sport fish this morning, so we're gonna let this this big fish go. Go ahead. Oh, you got there, buddy. Oh, look at there, look at there. Look at there. Bring him up in here. Bring him up in here. Good job. On that DOA terrorize. Cool little guy, huh? All right, Bob. Way to go, buddy. Hey, hold him out for you. Make him look good. <laughs> yeah, here in Progresso, our, uh, our tarpon are quite finicky. As the snook, we have to have a moving tide. The outgoing tide is awesome for the, for the snook. Out or incoming is excellent for the tarpon. Usually when it's slack, they're just sitting there watching all the lures go right by their face. Fish. Hold on. Hold on. Bring him around. Bring him around. Bring him around. Oh! No, he broke. Uh, he did come off. He thought he broke the line, but yeah, it came right off. All right. Don't let him go under the boat, Gary. Whatever you do, don't let him go in the boat. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, boy, no tamaño, Gary. Bring him back around this way, son. No, no entre the soga. Once again, I got him on that Trocar Circle C hook number two with a dead sardine. Oh, and this stripping line too, man. It is not ready yet. Right on, dude, right on. Wear him down, wear him down. 
confirmed. Ah, so buenísimo, mira. One more time, bring him around. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh -uh. Not yet, not yet. One more time, bring him in. Uh, not yet. One more time. Uh, not yet, not yet. Gotta make it, gotta make it. Qué bueno, man. Okay, we need to see more. Right on. All right, we'll let him go. Well, folks, welcome back to Yucatan Anglers TV. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. I'm here with Bob Thomas. I tell you, yesterday was pretty awesome. Yeah. But about an hour and a half into our, our filming, the sky is unleashed on us and a monsoon set in. So we decided to call it a day, come back out today. We got beautiful blue skies, lots of sun today. So we're fixing to go fishing one more time. Hopefully the tarpon, they're on today. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's yeah. hope, let's hope. Right on. Y'all stay tuned. We're going fishing. So underneath that catamaran there, there's always, always a group of tarpon. I know, look at them up underneath there. We'll work over there here in just a minute and see if we can get one to hit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't want to hit the guy's boat. You hook one up and it jumps and hits the bottom of the boat. All right, Bob, make a few casts up underneath there. There's a big one that just rolled right up through there as well. There's a few of them in here. Needlefish tugging on it. Oh man, what is that? Ooh. Oh, did you see that? He came all the way out and looked at it. in there let's see if I can get one to hit got him fish on got him got him I got him I got him I got him little tiny baby little baby little baby I got him <laughs>
Can I do that one more time? Ah, little five pounder. I tell you, they get used to this after a while though. Oh, I almost hit that one in the head. All right, first fish yawn, little tarpon. There are some bigger ones in here. We're gonna see if we can find us some. Give this just a bit more. Well, I tell you, once they get wind of this thing, though, they become smart to it, and they will just not hit it. I pulled four of them out of here one morning, and gotta watch that front there. Pulled four of them out of here one morning, and then they were still rolling. But I tell you, I just couldn't get them to hit them anymore. After that, their lips were sore. Well, Bob, how long have you been? fishing with us I should spend four years five years yeah been a while. I remember when you first showed up you would you would book a tour with us yeah. you did two or three and then finally you started booking all these tours so I gave you the the kind of like once a week price yeah and then finally I said hey man you want to be a guide <laughs> you know I think what actually happened is you'd booked a tour and then Jen had an emergency you had to take it to the hot doctor or something and you asked if I could take the tour I said, sure. And everybody just started raving about you. In fact, we have we have one set of guests that always fish. They request Bob and <laughs> what they say is so funny. We don't even need to fish. We just need a beer and a cigar and listen to Bob's stories. <laughs> They're all true. Every one of them is true. <laughs> no, you've been a real asset here to youcontentsnook.com and we really appreciate you. I know that kind of sucks that you guys are looking at moving back to the states probably in a year or so i don't know you know the way things are going there and the way things are going here i don't know what we're gonna do we're, we love it here we might just end up staying well we hope so we bring the people back start fishing again i, I might just <laughs> exactly exactly very cool well we love you bob we hope you stay here forever cool guys well we've decided to do a little troll in here in the harbor of Puerto abrigo progreso Give a chance for this tide to uh, change and come up. Should start coming in in a bit. Should turn these tarpon back on and the snook. We're gonna do a little trolling for you here. Little, hopefully we can catch something trolling. Bob, we got a fish on. All right, Bob. Oh, look at that. Shapo. Shapo. <laughs> Blowfish. These are actually really, really, really a good tasting fish. They're a non-toxic fish. The bigger ones, we have a video that we put out on YouTube on how to clean and eat them. Boy, I tell you what, they're really, really good. Oh yeah. Fish on. What'd you get, Bob? Uh, I don't know. Surface fish. Uh, oh, snapper. yeah. Snapper. A little tiny baby snapper. You got him in the side. Look at that. <laughs> you don't hurt their mouth. That's right. Look at that. Got it right in the <laughs> side. Poor little baby. <laughs> Poor little tiny mangrove snapper. A whipper snapper. A whipper <laughs> Come on, little sabalitos. Oh, he hit it. He hit it too. He smacked it. God doggone it. Ah! 
got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, I got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Hurry. Hurry, guy. Stay on. Bob, get the, get the, God dang. Well, folks, welcome to day three of Yucatan Anglers TV. We thought we'd give this catamaran one more shot to see if we can get us a, a tarpon in the boat for y'all. I just had a little nice one Bob's throwing. We're throwing these DOA terror eyes. I got Gary back here, Captain Gary, managing the boat. We're gonna check a few of our spots today and let's to see if we can get one in the boat for the photograph. Oh, he almost hit him in the head, Bob. Almost hit him in the head. Let's be rewarded. Oh, he smacked it, didn't he? He smacked it. Go ahead. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, he smacked it again. He smacked it again, Doug got it. Oh, you almost got him, Bob. <laughs> you almost hooked him. I'll snag him, I'm telling you. I got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. I got him. I got the, oh, he came off. No, bah, 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 bah. Ah. All right, well, that's four I've had hooked up this morning, Bob, and not one of them in the boat. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the right one. Well, you know what they say, the tug is the drug. Yeah. I'm full of drugs this morning. Oh, yeah, you are. Right on. Yeah, I know, but you were way up here. He's coming up. Ah. ah, and I missed it, too. I missed it. You had him on there, Bob. Took off my, yeah. tore up my plastic. This is why I'm always ordering extra plastics from DOA. Thanks, DOA. Yes. Oh, stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Oh, he came off again. I lost another one. That's five today, Bob. That's five I've lost today. Doggone it. Man. That's our new is our new mate. <laughs> uh, our new first mate. Yeah. Well dang Bob, that was a that was a fun day for our oh, third and final day, huh? I'll tell you what. Oh for six though, but uh, that was pretty cool. It was indeed. That was that was awesome. Just lots of hookups. Them. Yeah, I mean lots of hookups. We didn't get one into the boat, but you know, still that hookup. That tug is the drug, and you know, we, we enjoy it. So y'all, listen, if you get down here to Progreso, Mexico, look us up at yucatansnook.com. Stop in here to the marina, say hi to, to our big old dog, Nebla, and uh, we'd love to take you fishing. Oh, we so, do. Uh, yes, yes we would. Way to go, Bob. Well, folks, listen, stay healthy, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time here on Yucatan Anglers TV. See you, bye. Adios. <laughs>
Bluefish. Bobby, you gotta guide him up in here, buddy. Watch what you're doing here. Thank you. <laughs> Just what? <laughs>